The open source nature of Linux allows anyone to make forks of their favorite Linux distros. While many great Linux distros have been created because of this principle, some people have, well, really interesting ways of expressing their freedom. Today, we're gonna look at the top four weirdest Linux distros you probably don't want to use, starting with the famous Hannah Montana Linux, a distro themed around the TV show which was popular in the early 2000s. This Linux distro uses the ancient KDE 4.2 desktop environment that is heavily themed with a girly Hannah Montana look and feel. Since I'm running this distro in VirtualBox, I had to scale it up to 1920 by 1080 and when I did, the taskbar did not adjust to the new size, but instead it just preferred to hide in its little corner over there. Pretty much everything is purple or pink, with you know, a little bit of a hint of green. The wallpaper, icons, taskbar, window borders, and pretty much everything else has been decorated. I'm guessing this distro is based on Kubuntu, only because it has an about Kubuntu shortcut, but also a shortcut to install Hannah Montana Linux. I guess they didn't rename everything to Hannah Montana Linux and just kept some stuff as Kubuntu, so it's kind of a mix. Anyway, Hannah Montana Linux was discontinued years ago, and I think we all know why. <laughs> Moving on to Ubuntu Satanic Edition, or Satanic, Satanic, something like that. A distro designed for use by the devil himself. At a first glance, I assume this Linux distro used the Mate desktop environment, which is a modern continuation of the older GNOME 2 desktop environment. But after I looked closer, I found that it actually uses GNOME 2 itself, which is long gone. Yeah, this distro is also super outdated. This is pretty much regular Ubuntu with a wallpaper and a dark red theme. It even features an old version of the Ubuntu Software Center that I've never actually seen before. Pretty cool. Up in the top panel, there's this fox looking icon that I clicked. It seems to load up some search engine, but I couldn't really see because the Firefox version was too outdated to do anything. And everyone, everyone needs an updated web browser so they can purchase their JPT merch. Prices starting at just $12, link in the description below. And now for all of those Among Us fans out there, here is actually an Among Us themed Linux distribution. Interestingly enough, this one is actually still active and running. It does have a neat little startup sound. Then we are greeted with this wallpaper that wants us to have a sussy Christmas. Comforting. <laughs> The wallpaper is completed with falling snowflakes, which I've actually never seen in a default wallpaper before. We seem to have a Mac OS style launcher that displays all our apps. And oh, look at that. We have Pi apps ported to x86, which is something I've never seen before. And we have Minecraft Pi Edition, which I know we all want to see. Well, uh, it, the game is, it's pretty much unplayable because my mouse sensitivity is super high and I actually can't figure out how to turn it down. So yeah, there's that. Something interesting I've noticed is that the falling snowflakes actually pile snow on top of the window over time, as you can see here, which is a neat little addition. I actually think that's pretty cool. So overall, I mean, this is really just a Debian fork with Among Us themes and an unusual software selection. And finally, Rebecca Black OS. This Linux distro has multiple desktop environments, and I'll just skim through a few of them. I'll start with the default one. Now the first thing I notice is that even the simplest apps, such as the file manager and the terminal, take forever to load. The desktop seems to be a ripoff of KDE Plasma 4, judging by the icon theme and stuff like that. Overall, it's just a Linux distro for those who can't decide what desktop environment they want, so they just take all of them. Now, personally, I would not recommend having 
multiple desktop environments in one Linux installation because then you have all these tools that make sense on one desktop environment but are completely useless on all the other ones you have so it's not a very good mix and it's, you just don't want to make the you just don't want to mix the desktop environments together I should probably note that it takes forever to get the mouse to work so you have to wait like five minutes which is annoying and after five minutes after it started up then the mouse will finally start working so that's just some weird interesting thing I found Rebecca black OS is packaged with tons of software that I've never even heard of let alone know what it all does all in all this is just a bloated OS with a ton of desktop environments and window managers and a ton of useless software I guess with open source licensing, you're bound to have weird Linux distros pop up. Which one was the weirdest to you? Now let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.